I got two assistants. It's Elfred who Alfred. will be um, playing the game with me I was and on the Bean Boozle Boozle stuff. Yeah, he was on the Bean Boozle job earlier. And J Fred will be the judge commentator guy. Hello. And um, so basically, the overall of Pokemon is you're trying to take all your prize cards by knocking out your opponent's Pokemon, and a bunch of trainer cards can help you along the way, and you can power your Pokemon up with energy, and to attack. yeah, to attack. So let's get started. All right, so we just shuffled our decks, and now we're going to cut each other's to make sure that we're not stacking it. This is his deck, and this is my deck, so he's going to yep. cut my deck, yeah. And now, to start off the game, before we draw our hands, um, we flip a coin. And um, so, um, Alfred's going to flip a coin, and I'm going to guess um, what it's going to land on. If I'm correct, I get to choose whether I go first or second. If I'm incorrect, he gets to choose. Okay, and so this is where the discard pile goes. So, discard um, pile deck. So, can you see this? Um, we're playing on mats, but if you're not, the, di the deck goes down... Uh, discard disc goes down right, I guess. Yeah, discard yep. pile goes up, up right, right, and then yeah, we'll, we'll tell you that later though. Here's a coin. So um, it all has a head and a tail. So if you can see that, heads and tails. I'll go heads. Okay. It's tails. So he gets to choose where he goes first or second. First so, just gets to go first, and that's helpful. Second can attack, and first can't attack. So I probably choose second. Yeah. So I am going to go second. Second. Okay. And now, to start off the game, each of us draw seven cards off the top of our deck. As our starting hand. Yeah, it's just our starting hand. Six, six, seven. Seven, one, two, three. And four, then, seven. we take the next... So then we look. And, um... So, I've got... So you need oh, to have I a didn't basic. draw one too many. So, I don't have a basic. So, hold on. I need to explain, explain to them what basic So, are. a basic is a Pokemon that says basic in the top left corner, so here, which I don't have. For a demonstration, this Pokemon card says basic up there, if you can see that. I don't know if you can. Um, you can only put basics on your bench. We'll explain why later. So, so I just got a mulligan, so he gets to put the one on a side of a dice on top of his deck, meaning yeah. after I get a basic, eventually after drawing, I, um, I'll draw he the gets card. to draw an extra card. So, if he gets another mulligan, if he gets another, so it's called a mulligan, if, he, if that happens again, then I'll turn this to a two, like that, and, I, and then when he gets a basic, he gets a basic on that, I'll draw two cards. So, my hand, I have, so, yeah. Look at this, so I've got, this time I have got a basic, so I'm gonna put it up as active, and now he gets to draw a card. So, okay. And because I don't have any other basics, I don't need any bench. So I draw, a, I drew a card. It was a um, energy. As you can see, I have two basics, basic and basic. I have to choose one up as active. That means that it will attack the opponent, and then one is bench. That means that it can't attack the opponent. So one, and then you put them face down, and then when the game starts, you flip them over. So Bench poke. This is my yeah. active, actually. Yeah. And this that, is my bench. And then, after all the mulligans are done, each player puts down their prize cards. Six One, two, prize three. cards. Why don't we do it like this? Six. Yeah, actually, technically, you're supposed to put them put out, like, out that. like this. So, like that. So the object of the game is so every time you knock out. Your, one of your opponent's Pokemon, you draw one prize card. Once you've drawn all your prize cards, you win the game. Yep, and there are actually three ways to win. One is drawing all your prize cards, like you just said. Another one is knocking out all of your opponent's Pokemon in place. They have no more Pokemon in play left. So say, or, so, so like say he has here, and this guy I flip him over, and I knock this guy out, he doesn't have any bench, so he can't move anyone up. So that means I win, even though I only have drawn one of my prize cards. Yeah, and the last way is if you can't draw a card at the beginning of your turn, say you draw your last card, that doesn't mean you lose. You can still knock them out and win. But if you can't draw a card at the beginning of your turn because your deck is out, then you lose. Okay, so so that, that, it's, it's all sounding kind of like complicated. hard, complicated, but it'll get easier as yeah. we play. 
and we're gonna explain it super well. And right. yes, thank One, you for watching. One, two, three, flip. So I get to go first. I'll draw. So I just drew this card, which is actually gonna be very helpful. And each deck needs a strategy. This deck's strategy is basically very weird. Um. Um. So I'm gonna play this card which will search my deck for two basic Pokemon. So It's a, a supporter card. Yeah. So you can only place one supporter card during your turn. Right There's multiple different kinds of trainers, and it describes it down there. It There's also right items, which, let you play, you, which you can play as many of per turn, but supporters are way better. And they'll I'm going to get this guy. See, he's a basic up in that corner. And I'm going to also get... Where is he? Nah, nah. I'll get hmm. Um. This guy. And so then it says, put them into my hand. Then shuffle my deck afterward. So I just shuffled my deck. So he just shuffled his deck. And now actually, I cut. You can either want to cut or not. I am not going to cut because I just don't feel like it. And so now, because they're basics, I can put them on my bench if I'd like. So I'm going to put Reggie Ice down on the bench first. Then I'm going to put Hoopa Yex down. Now, take a look at his ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand under your bench, you may search your deck for up to three Pokemon EXs, except for Hoopa EX. Reveal them and put them into your hand. So Shuffle you your deck afterwards. Bench. So now, um, they actually go into my hand. So I'm going to get... This guy, this guy, and I don't know, this guy. So now I shuffle my deck. So this guy's not a basic, so we can't put this guy down on the bench. So yeah, I just have to put these guys down. Basic, basic. And now, um, and now, now I attach a Blastoise Spirit Link to this guy. Okay, so next I'm going to, so I already played my supporter, so that means too bad I can't play this guy. And look, show him what the supporter says. Up yeah, there. supporter. So up in red, and then show him what the item says. The items has blue up, up in the there, corner. It says item in the blue. And then there are also tools which you attach. So I'm going to attach this tool so you attach to this guy, because he has less HP and this ups his you HP. only attach one tool. Yep, one tool unless they have a special effect that lets you attach multiple. And I'm going to attach an energy to this guy. This is a special energy, so along with um, it being an energy, it has a special effect. And you need energy to attack. So he has one water energy, so he needs two more colorless energies, colorless or any type. You can use any type of energy for those. So he needs two more energies of any type to be able to do his hydro whirlpool. Yeah, so now, because I have, because I, I already played an item, but because you can play as many as you want, I'm going to play this item. So you put it out and play while you do it. And then, and then you search your deck or do whatever it says. So, it, so says, I'm, it says two basic energy cards. So search your deck for two basic energy cards. Yeah. I shuffle my deck, and then he gets the option of cutting. And I don't want to cut. So I put them into my hand now, as it says, and I put that in my discard pile now that I've used it. And now you're only allowed to attach one energy per turn. Doesn't matter whether it's a regular basic energy or a special. Just like with supporters, only one per turn. Tools, unlimited. Items, unlimited. Supporters and energies, nope. And so this guy evolves from, this guy evolves from this first guy, turn, turn. but it's be, because it's my first turn, I can't do that. It's the first turn with Blastoise and the fir, my, my first so, turn, so I can't do that. Yeah, like, and now, because my hand's like this, it's a force... Alfred's turn. Thank you. Um, Mr. So I will draw a card for my turn. I attach an energy to Cosmog. Like that. He's um, all powered up now. Yeah, he's all powered up for his attack. The thing you need to remember is if so, somebody chooses going first and someone chooses going second when the coin flip, he chose to go first because he won. Uh, no, no, I chose to go second because I won. Yeah. Now, the benefits of going first is you get the first turn. That's nice. Yeah, the I benefits agree. of going That's second. Or you get to attack on the turn. If you go first, you can't attack on that turn. If you go second, like I'm going second, I can attack. So, okay, now 
I am going to play a tier now. One. So it says draw three cards. Oh, it goes has to play first. Draw three cards, as if you can see it right here. Um, draw three cards. So I draw what? I draw one, two, two three cards. So I drew a two energies. So the energies are what help power this up. So this guy can touch any kind of energy too to do it. I do two energies and a stage one. So this guy, you see how it says stage one right here? He can't go down on the bench. You look corner, I told you about that, so I couldn't do that. This guy, you see how it, this has the, so you see in, the right, in this little corner right here? In that little corner right there, it has a picture of this guy. That means on my next turn, so this is my first turn, so I can't evolve into this guy. On my next turn, I can put this guy onto him, and it's like an upgraded this guy, a better this guy. And then, yeah, so I attached an energy. I played a supporter, so I can't do supporters. I'm going to put out a stadium card. So a stadium card is a card that you put out up here. And it benefits both people. So Or disbenefits. Or disbenefits. So each player, each player's grass Pokemon can evolve during his or her first turn. She plays them. So like I said right here, um, right here I can't evolve because it's the first turn. So if this was a grass Pokemon, if it had a little grass right here, then I could evolve into that, because if I had this card out. So this card out, even it, so this is, this goes for him too. If he has grass Pokemon, he can do the same thing. So that goes out there. And it stays out. It it's stays out. One turn it stays out, yeah. And um, there can only be one, so if he has another stadium card that he wants to put out, he puts it out, and I discard this. So there can only be one stadium card in play at a time. If I have another one I want to put out, I put it out, and, this, and I discard this, like that. But right now I want to have that one out. So I have, I have attached an energy, played a supporter. Now, right now, there is not any items I want to play. The only item is this, and it's not benefiting me right now. So I'm not going to play that. And so now it's time for me to attack. So I'm going to attack with the attack called Dust Gathering. So I have one energy, so I can do it. And it says, draw a card. So now it's after you attack, it's automatically the person's turn. So I draw my card. Okay, so it's my turn now. So I'm going to draw. And so I just got a trainer card. It's an item, so that means I can play it. And I've got another trainer card, but I don't really want to play it right now. So I get to attach an energy, like usual, once during my turn. I'll attach it to Blastoise. Yes. Yep, my Blastoise EX now has two energy, almost enough to attack. And now, look at this guy. Evolves from Blastoise EX. You might not be able to see that, but there's a little picture of Blastoise EX. So I evolve. Usually, when one of your Pokemon becomes a Mega Evolution Pokemon, your turn ends. But Spirit Links prevent that. So I've got a Spirit Link on him, so now my turn doesn't end. And a Spirit Link is a tool card. Yeah, it's a tool. Now I get to, I'm gonna play this, which makes his op the opponent's active Pokemon poisoned. So he so, puts a poison marker on him. Poison makes it so that he receives 10 damage every time the turn switches. Yeah, keep that on. And it also flips a coin of heads. He's asleep. It's heads. It does. So now he's asleep. Okay. But he'll probably become unasleep soon because it's very easy to get out of sleep. So basically, if they're asleep, you turn them to the left and they can't attack or retreat. But every time the turn switches, they flip a coin of heads. It's removed. If tails, they're still asleep. And, um,. With paralyzed, another and, special and, condition. If, if you're asleep, you can't attack yeah. or retreat. Yeah. And if um, retreating is where you switch in a certain way, we'll explain it later. But um, paralyzed is where you can't attack or retreat for one turn, then it gets removed. Um, confused is where, and you turn them to the right for paralyzed. Confused, so you, you turn you them upside down. Different special conditions. Are special conditions. Are yeah. Different. And confused turns them upside down, and there's no way to remove it without a trainer card. Um, you when you attack. You flip a coin, if heads, then um, it just does the damage and nothing happens. If it's tails, then they receive 30 damage and the attack doesn't work. So, now that I played that, I've already attached an energy and I don't want to play this card. So it's just his turn. Now that the turn changed, before he draws, he flips a coin. So before I draw, I flip a coin. And here's his 10 damage. It's tails, tails. So, so I asleep. stay asleep. So I mean, I can't but attack. But he also does 10 damage because yeah. the turn. But because he's going to evolve, the other attack is worthless on the other yeah. guy, So 
And so now it's his turn. So he draws. I am, no, hold on. Oh, yeah, I, I received 10, 10 damage. damage. In between turns, in between my turn and his turn, I received 10 damage. So here's a damage counter. Here's the one. So oh. here's one. So, so two means 20. One means 10. Four means 40. Five means 50, you know. So I have a 10 damage. Oh, I and forgot to say. I forgot to say. Ways to get special conditions off. Um, when you evolve, it removes them. Um, and so when you retreat, it removes them. Yeah. Evolving is the level up thing that he explained earlier. So, okay, so now it's so my turn, so I draw a card. Okay, I'm, I'm probably going to play this later. So now, if you can see this, here's the Cosmo Beam that I showed you last turn. Right here, it evolved from this guy. You see? This is a Lunology X. You see, um, it, ha it says stage 2 evolves from a Cosmo Beam. So you see how this has a picture of this guy right here in the corner? That means that once this guy is onto here, you have to wait one turn, and then this guy goes onto here. And this guy's super powerful, so he's really good. Now, a cool thing that I have is I have this really cool trainer. It's called a Rare Candy. Now, a tra it says, okay, so the trainer says, so, okay, another thing is a stage, so Lunology X, he evolves from two, so, so, so this guy, so this is called Lunology X, Cosmo Lame. So, a guy that has to evolve, a guy that has to evolve from someone that already evolved from the person, if you know what I'm saying, is called a stage two. So you see how it says stage two? This guy said stage one. A guy that evolves from just a basic stage one, a guy that evolves from a stage one is a stage two. No such thing as a stage three. No, there's no such thing as a stage three. So, this rare candy, it's a trainer, an awesome trainer that I have. It says, choose one of your basic Pokemon in play. If you have a stage two in your hand that evolves from that Pokemon, put that card on the basic Pokemon. This cast is evolving the Pokemon. Um, um, so what this means is I play this. So I, it's, it's an item, so it goes in play. And what it means is here's my basic, here's my stage um, two Pokemon. So I that put this on here. One. So I'm allowed to. Now this removes the special condition. And the special condition. So And the special condition. So now it's back to normal. Now I'm going to attach my you energy. You evolution. Yeah, I skipped an evolution. That means I didn't have to use this guy because of this um, trainer. So now I will, um, oh, this is in my hand. I will um, attach an energy. Oh, and, um, okay, and another thing, I'm going to, so, so, so this is an item. That means I can play as many as I want. This also says item right there. So I can play this now. So this, so here's a Rollet. This guy also has a stage two. Now I don't, so now this thing right here, it says flip two coins for each head, search your deck for an evolution Pokemon. So that means any of his evolutions, this guy or this guy, for well, him. An evolution Pokemon yeah. means not a basic. Yeah, anything yeah, yeah. But a basic. Anything but a basic. Um, reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So what I'm going to do, I have to flip the two coins. So um, here, okay, so yeah, here. Um, so even here, heads, yeah. odds is tails. Mm -hmm. It's even heads. So now it's even. So it's heads. I draw. I, I search mm -hmm. my deck for one evolution. So I just need to remember that. No. Yeah. 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 So now I flip. I flip it again. And then flip it again. It is six again, which is heads. So I search my deck for two evolutions. So with those, even is heads, odds is tails. Yeah. So. To evolution Pokemon, and here I am searching for a guy, um, Dartrix. So, Dartrix, look at this. Same thing, you see the picture right there? It says stage one picture. The picture's the same as this guy. He evolves into this guy. So, I put this guy into my hand, and then I search for a another guy that's an evolution Pokemon, Decidueye GX. The Sidui GX has the picture of this guy, you see? He's in a different pose, but it's the same guy. So this guy evolves on, onto this guy. So you see that? So, let me show you. I need to shuffle my deck now. So, yeah. Okay, my deck is now shuffled. So, um, here. Normally, so, so, so I can evolve this one because this guy's been here for several turns. Normally, I could not evolve this guy because this guy just came into play. But remember the Forest of Giant Plant Stadium card? Each player's grass Pokemon, he's a grass Pokemon, 
evolve on the first turn. So this is the first turn this guy came in here, so I can evolve him there. So now he's um, there, which is really good. So now, another cool thing that I can do with this guy now that he's here is, um, so an attack, all of these are attacks, and he already told you, Luke Pointer, or, or Mr. Brown, um, already told you that, um, that, um, the, uh, attacks you can only use, so it's attacks you can only use once, and the atta attacks automatically mean the end of your turn. Now you see how this says ability right here? That means you could you could still only use this ability once per turn, but you could use so like say this guy had an ability. So you see, this guy has an ability right here, and this guy has an ability. You can use both their abilities in one turn. And sometimes mm -hmm. it says yeah. once during your turn. Sometimes it says as often as you like yeah. during your turn. So this guy's ability you can only use once during your turn. This guy's ability you can use this guy's ability as many times as you want. But you could you but like with attack you can only use one attack per turn. So I'm gonna use this ability. It says it's called Feather Arrow, and it says. Once during your turn, before your attack, you may do, um, you may put two damage counters, so that's 20 damage, um, on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So I can choose any of these Pokemon cards and put 20 damage on them. I'm going to choose, oh, I'm going to choose that guy for 20 damage. So now, if I want, if I had enough energy, I could attack also, but I only have two energy and my attacks cost three energies or four energies. So I can't attack. This turn, so now, oh, I have played this, so this is as a most card. Now it is your turn. So, now that it's my turn, I draw to start off the turn, and okay, that's pretty good. So, first, I'm gonna attach an energy to my Mega Blast Toys, and so now he's all powered up to use Hydro Bombard. And now, I think I'm gonna play Skyla. Yeah, I'm gonna play a Skyla. Skyla's a supporter. Yeah, supporters so I can only use once, one per turn. And that searches my deck for a trainer card, which I'm going to get. Let's see. Hmm. wonder where he is. Aha. I'm going to get a Zerosic. So that's also support. So he can't play this this turn. Yeah. I'm just looking through to make sure there isn't anything else I want more. And now I... Sh um... And now I shuffle my deck. And do you want to cut? No. So I put this into my hand and I discard her. Now I've already attached an energy and I've already played a supporter, so I can't do anything else. So because this guy's on the bench, he can't attack. So now it is Alfred's turn. Okay, so now it is the um, start of my turn. So I need to draw for turn. I drew an um, item. So. It says item right there. Some items are different. This one says it right here. This one says it right here. That one says it right up here. Um, but they're all items and they're all Pokemon. So um, I'm going to attach an energy. Now I can use this. So, yeah. Um, now, um, okay. So um, I have drawn my card. I have attached my energy. Yeah, so I, use the or I have not used ability. any trainers yet. So, I am going to use, um, um, I'm going to use a supporter, so I can only use one, so that's my supporter for the turn, it says Steven. So, he says, search your deck for a supporter card, so another supporter card that I can play next turn, and a basic energy, one of these. Um, reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. So, well not only one of those, but any yeah, kind of basic any kind energy. of basic energy. It just can't be special. So, I am going to search for a psychic mm -hmm. basic energy and a supporter um I don't know. I think I will just do Ooh, this is a good one. I'm going to do Professor Kakui supporter. So now I'm going to shuffle. Okay, Luke, do you want to cut? No, thank you. Okay. So I search these. This is in my hand. Um, Steven goes in my Discord file. Oh. Um, and so now, so now, okay, I have enough energy to attack with this one called Lunar Fall. Um, um, Lunar Fall. So I can attack with it. So yeah, Lunar Fall. So now this is kind of weird. It is outlined in blue. 
So these ones are just normal. This, and it says GX, so this guy's a GX. This is a special thing called a GX attack. Now, GX attacks, you can only use once per game. So I attack with this one, Lunar Fall. I can't use any other GX attack. So I can't use this guy's Hollow Hunt GX, and I can't use Lunar Fall again. So I am going to do that, but first I'm going to do this guy's ability. Remember, Feather Arrow, it does 20 damage, and I'm going to do 20 damage to this guy. There. Um, that guy's 10 Yeah. So, um, also, I have this cool little marker. It says GX, and on the back it just has a picture of a Pokeball. So, I forgot to do this, but, but at the beginning of the game, if you have GXs in your um, deck, you put this out. This means that you can still attack with the GX marker, with the GX attack. After I've attacked with my GX attack for the whole game, I flip this over, so I know I can't attack anymore. So With the GX. Yeah, so I'm going to do Lunar Fall GX attack. Knock out one of your opponent's basic Pokemon. So... I can just knock out any of his basic Pokemon. That's the basic right here. I'm going to do his Kyogre EX because I know he has a... Um, so just like this guy has Mega Blastoise, he has a uh, Mega Kyogre. Um, that's a really good thing. So, yeah. It's actually called Primal Kyogre, it's but it's a Mega Evolution. It's the same thing. So, yeah. I knocked it out, and now... So if you knock out an EX, something that says... So, so you see how this says EX right here and, in gold, and uh, this says GX right here in like, kind of silvery black. If you knock out one of those, you draw two prize cards. If you knock out a normal guy, like 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 a Rowlet or any of that, then that doesn't say anything, you draw one prize card. So or there's also yeah. breaks, they only draw one prize card. Yeah. So I um but we're not talking about those right now. So I knocked out um his Primal Kyogre. It's an EX, so I draw just two prize cards. EX. I mean yeah, just regular. So I'm gonna uh, I drew a Lunology X for my prize cards. And a wa uh, some grass energy for my prize cards. Now, since I attacked, it's his turn. So yeah. And now I have to move up somebody. I'm gonna move up my Mega Blastoise, and he's all powered up. So I'm gonna draw. So this card right here, it's a supporter. I'm gonna play it. It's called Zerosic. Choose a Pokemon tool or special energy card attached to a Pokemon in play, yours or your opponent's, and discard it. Usually, I'd want to discard a tool or a special energy attached to one of my opponent's Pokemon because that's bad for them. But this time, I don't really need the Spirit Link anymore because I've already evolved him. So I'm going to play this and discard this Spirit Link so now another tool can be attached. And now, I've got an energy in my hand, which it's... A special one, this this card provides, the double colorless energy provides two star energy. By that, it doesn't mean any type of energy. A lot of people get this mixed up. It means two star energy. Even though that's usually not how it works, it means two star energy. So I'm going to attach this to Lugia EX, who can now use his arrow ball attack. But he's on the bench, so I can't use it. Now, I've got two cards left in my hand. I've already played a supporter, so I can't play this guy, who's been in my hand forever. And But this muscle band, the the attacks of this Pokemon, this card is attached to do 20 it, more it, damage it, to it, your opponent's active Pokemon. It's a tool. So I could attach it to him, 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 or him. No, not him. He's already got it. Oh, yeah, he's already got a tool, so I can't attach it to him. So I'm going to attach it to this guy. So now Hydra Bombard, instead of doing 120 damage, it does 140 damage. So, I'm going to do Hydro Bombard, which will do 140 damage to Lunology X. So, let's put 140 damage on him, plus the 10. So, now he has 150 on him. Each one represents 10, and it is 30 to 2 so of yeah, your opponent's bench 30, Pokemon. So, this is, this is 30 damage, 60 damage, and 60 damage. So... I just did 140 damage to him, which he has 250 HP, so now he has a total of 150 damage on him. Once he gets to 250 H, once he gets to 250 damage or above, he's knocked out. So right now I have, hold on, let's see here. 100 HP left. I have 100 HP left, you can see. But look at this other effect on Hydro Bombard. This attack does 30 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. You can do 30 damage twice to the same one. And because he only has one benched Pokemon, you can have up to five, unless there's a really cool card in play. So you can I'm have up to five going to do 30 damage twice to this guy, which equals 60. And now, because I attacked, it's Alfred's turn. Okay, thank you, Mr. Brown. So, 
I will draw, and I will attach one more energy. So now he can do his attacks. It's just because I, I can't use Lunar Fault anymore because it's a GX. So I can use Moon Ice Beam though because that's just a normal attack. And now um, I'm going to play this trainer called, it's a, it's a supporter, so I can't play more than one per turn. It's Professor Kakui. So the first thing it says oh, is draw two cards. So I'm going to draw two cards. So the card was a Steven, a support Steven supporter, and a Professor Juniper supporter, so I drew two supporters. Um, the second thing it says is during this turn, your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, I played this guy, so he goes in the right profile there, and now, um, now I think, let's see, I need to, oh, another thing is, um, that we haven't explained yet, is, um, you can only have four of one card in your deck, so, except energy. except energies, you can have as many energies as you want, but, they but have you can only have four of one card, so I can only have, non-basic, yeah, I can only have four Lunala GXs, up to up four to. Lunala, yeah, only, yeah, but energy, you can have as many energies as you so, want. But, like, I think, like, a special, special no. energy, a special... You, to, you can only have up to four of one kind of special energy, but with basic energy, you can have unlimited. Yeah, and, like, this is, this is a special energy. Yeah, you can only have four of those. And there's a limit of 60 cards in the deck, and that has to be 60 cards. Yeah. No less, no more. No, yet less, no more. Okay. So, um, I have attached my energy. I have played my supporter. Um, I, there's no, there's no, um, uh... There's no items I want to play. Um, so now, what I want to do is my Feather Arrow attack. Remember, I mean, ability, remember that? It does 20 damage to his active Pokemon. Any Pokemon, actually. Any, any Pokemon, 20 damage. So this guy has 20 damage on him now. And now, I am going to do my attack right here. It says, um, here, I'm going to just show you the card real quick. It says... Moot Geist Beam, four energies. I have exactly four energies, so I can do that. The defending Pokemon can't be healed during so so it does 120 damage. The defending Poke the defending Pokemon can't be healed during your opponent's next turn. So by Pokemon it means plural. Whenever yeah. it says the defending Pokemon, not your opponent's active Pokemon, it means the defending Pokemons. Even though plural for Pokemon is Pokemon. So yeah, there. So, yeah, he has some heal. So there's some healing cards in decks. Um, let's see if I have played any. Have you played any healing cards? No. Okay, let me, I'm just going to find them real quick just so I can show you a healing card. Um, here, these are, this is a, called Max Potion. It says heal all damage from one of your opponents, from one of your Pokemon. So, um... But this card Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damage. So a uh, Max Potion heals it. So with this, it says 120 damage to him. So, um... With this, it um makes Actually, it, it does 140. It's 140. Oh yeah, hold on. So with this, hold on, hold on, hold on. With this, it um he can't heal that damage. Mm. Yeah, he can't heal that damage. So um Mr. Brown hat. So yeah, Mr. Brown can't heal that damage. Whatever. So yeah. So um this thing. Remember, I played this. It says during your during your turn, during this turn, the attacks um uh, the attacks of your Pokemon do 20 more damage. So this does 20 more damage. So now it's 140 damage. He has 220 HP, which is a lot, but not as much as me. He has 220 HP, not so yet. he's not super worried. But yeah, so now he's putting his um, damage on right now. So now I have a total of 160 and damage on me. I attacked, so it's his turn. So I draw a card. I don't really need this card right now, but it's better than this card. So I'm going to play it. Pokemon Fan Club, it says, I played it earlier. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. So, I'm going to search my deck for, I don't know, let's see what I've got. It's not a basic, so I can't get him. Let's get uh, this guy. He's a basic. And I don't have any other basics except for this guy. He's also a basic. Shuffle my deck. Would you like to cut it? No. And let's see. I'm going to put these two basics on my bench. So now my bench is full. I can't put any more benched Pokemon down. And I... I already played the supporter, so I can't play this. 
I don't have any grass evolutions that I haven't that I put out in Blade the Stern or anything like that to do with that stadium card. And I don't really I do have an ability to I don't I do have a way to switch. Basically, how you retreat because I can right now if I want so, to is you know, so the retreat cost is three any type energy. That means you have to discard three any type energy. It can be special, can be basic. And then you get to switch him so, yeah. down for some uh, attach three any type energies that are attached to him. So if he wanted to retreat, he would have to discard all three of these energies on him. But look at this. Mudkip has a one. So that Seismitoad has a three. So that means if Mudkip had one energy, I had, two. had three energies, he would only have to discard one energy to get yeah. three. Um, two energy on Luvia. Three on Hoop and two on Hoopa. Three on Regis. Show where it is. Luvia. And here the max is four. It's down in the bottom right corner for most Pokemon. Um, but they switched it to the um No, it's in the bottom left for most Pokemon, but they switched it to bottom right in recent sets. Like very recent cards that came out. So, but I don't want to switch because this guy can do a lot of damage. Yeah, that's the max. Four is the max. There's no more than four retreat. Though. So I'm going to use Hydro Bombard, which will, let's see, so it does 140. Luna has 100 left, so that's the knockout. Because it's a GX, I take two prize cards. Is one. That's a okay, second. So I think we're going to so, stop the game no, there. No. No? Oh. And Luna gets discarded. Okay. Um, and now Elfred has to move up somebody else after having Bombard 30-30. So that's another 60 damage on the Decidueye GX. Yeah. So now Decidueye GX is 120 left. So he has no, um, Decidueye GX has no, um, no energies on him, so I can't attack with anything right now, which is really, so I'm in a really bad situation. Okay, so, um, here it has just started to be my turn. Um, I'm going to draw for turn, draw my card. I drew a supporter card. So I'm in a really, really bad situation. Um, he needs to heal something. I need to heal, but so I, one thing I can do right now is I can do my Feather Arrow ability, which does 20 more damage, so he's at 40, so he's not 60. Six, 12, eight. I'm at 180 damage, yeah. oh no. But yeah, 40 I left. have, so look, if he knocks this guy out, um, if he knocks this guy out, then he can draw... Um, Two prize cards, which wouldn't normally in the end, but I have no bench Pokemon, so it's his win because I can't move anybody up. So unless he gets a basic Pokemon with a second or something, basic. but I um can't right now. I thought you drew a Juniper. Oh, I did. So yeah. And you got energy, which could eventually be the attack. I do. Yes. Um. So I here I'm gonna play this Professor Juniper. So this card says, discard your whole hand. So discard your hand and draw seven more cards. So I have to discard a Wally, a Steven, a Grass Energy, Lunology X, a uh, Psychic Energy, um, De-Evolution Spray Trainer Item, Cosmoeme, and, um, I'm not doing that, and, um, a grass energy and another psychic, another grass energy and another psychic energy. So now, but now I need to draw seven more cards. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let me just count the next one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So I got. He gets it. two devolution sprays. He can knock me out. It's a special card. You'll find out. Yes. So no, we're we're, we're not going to explain that right now. They can find that. It's it's yeah. really hard. Yeah. Well, you should do. It. So, okay, sure. I only, okay, so. Do it for sure. Yeah, so this card says de evolution spray. So it's, a, it's an item, so I can play it. So what it says is. Um, oh, no. I wouldn't actually. Because <laughs> look, if he does that, it will knock out Dark Tricks. Oh, yeah. Because when he de evolves, all the damage so goes out of Dark Tricks. Does this de evolves when you're Pokemon, and normally I could de evolve this guy. And um, normally I could de evolve this guy, we, and then re evolve him like for the first turn. And when you de evolve somebody, it makes it so that you can do the feather arrow um, again. But I am going to do just the plain feather because so. But if I if I de evolved him, then there would be um, 120 damage on this guy. He only has 80 HP, so that would knock him out. So I I'm not going to do he that. He can heal if he. Can. I can't, but I can't heal right now. You I don't have one right now. I don't have any healing things right now. So yeah, thank he you, Jayfred. Yeah. Cards. Um, like, I, uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do right now, 
is I'm pretty much, I think so, there's a thing, I think I cannot win. Even though it's take, it, I, I think I can, I, I'm pretty sure I cannot win. There's a few other things I can play. So I'm going to play this Accurate, this Acrobike. It says look at the top two cards of your deck, reveal um, and the keep one, and discard one. I'm going to, this is actually really good. I'm going to discard this. Actually, nope. So this, 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 this is bad. I'm going to keep this. And is there anything else I can do? I can play a Great Ball, maybe. Let's see if that can do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, the Great Ball. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon you find there and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. And it's an item, so I can play that. So I found a Pokemon. Um, I'm Mewtwo EX. I might be able to survive now. So I'm not so... There's also a thing called conceding. It means you're just going to like say, I can't win. I'm going to give the game to you. You win. I thought I was going to do that, but I'm not going to do that. Because I have a Mewtwo EX, and I think I might be able to win with him. But, so, here, do you want to cut? I just shuffled. Do you want to cut? Uh, yes, actually. This time I would like to cut. Yes, okay. And then a tricky boom. <laughs> um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a psychic energy to Mewtwo EX. And I am going to play... Um, I'm going to just do um, a feather arrow for... You a, already did. Oh, I did. Yeah. So I'm going to call it his turn. All right. I'll draw. That was actually really good. So here I'm in a really stuck spot. Really bad. My Lugia is my last hope. Come on, Lugia. So I'm going to attach an energy to him. And now he's not powered up for Deep Hurricane... But he could use Arrow Ball, which can do more damage, can do less. So, let's see here. I don't really have any cards that I want to play. So, I think I'm just, I can't play, well, I can play this, but I don't have any basic Pokemon left in my deck. can play this, but I don't want to. So, I'm going to use a Hydro Bombard to get rid of the Decidueye. GX and do 60 damage to the Mewtwo because usually it does 30 damage to two, but you can do 30 that. to yeah, but so one. yeah. So I it does 60 to me. So, so yeah. I'm gonna draw two prize cards. Because so yes. I got these guys. So I'm gonna because draw it was a GX. Oh, I got, got two. So it's my turn now. Let's see attacked. I will draw a card. I got an energy, but it's not the right energy. I need a um psychic energy. So what I'm gonna um, I'm gonna so here's this card. It's a supporter card. It's called Lily. It says draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. If um, so yeah. So um, until you have six cards in your hand. Right now in my hand I have one, two, um, three, four, five. So if I played this, I would only be drawing one card. That's not two. good. Yeah. Oh, two cards. No, I'd only be drawing one. No. Because Lily would one, minus a card in your hand. Five. I, I, uh, I, I didn't have oh, Lily. Oh, yeah. So I am trying, I'm going to try and get rid of cards now. So I'm playing this de-evolution spray for no reason. I'm going to play a red card that does do something to Luke. Okay. He shuffles his hand into so his I deck. So I shuffle my hand into my deck. red card shuffle your hand into, he shuffles his hand into his deck. And then your, so your opponent shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and draw for cards. So yeah, Mr. Brown shuffles cut his hand like. into deck and I will cut. So yeah, Mr. Brown does that. Now um, I get to draw four cards. Now yeah, now I draw four cards. I now I'm also gonna play Town Map item. I can play as many items as you want. So it, so the Town Map says turn all of your prize cards face up. So now I can see them and see which one I should draw. See all that stuff. So now when I knock on somebody, I can say actually I want to draw these guys because they'll be good for me. You know, things like that. So now. Now I can play, actually I'm going to play an escape rope for no reason. So escape rope, each player, except for Luke, actually no. I'm not going to play that actually. Because it would still I switch, Luke, so this, each player switches his or her active Pokemon. With his or her benched Pokemon, your opponent switches um, first. So I actually am going to play this to get rid of more cards. Luke Pointer, so I can't do it because I don't have any benched Pokemon. But Luke Pointer switches his or her, um, yeah, but he switches his or her, um, Active Pokemon. So, yeah. So, after I Mr. Brown does that, 
I so after Mr. Brown does that, I can't do anything. Um, I mean, I, 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 that doesn't do anything for me because I have no bench. So now I'm going to play the lily. So you can see how that really helped me because now I draw five cards. Because I only want so I all so here's two cards, three, four, five, six, and I have six cards in my hand, just like the lily said. I'm going to put a roll that down on my bench. I am going to, um, still have not attached an energy. I have not attached energy, but there's no good energies for me to attach. So now I am going to attack with Shatter Shot. That's what I can do. This um, attack does 30 damage times the amount of psychic energy attached to this Pokemon. She has one psychic energy attached to him. So, um, it does 30 damage. damage. So now it is Mr. Brown's turn because I attacked. So I'm going to draw. So I got a supporter. This is a fancy full art one. And I'm going to play, let me just look through my, whenever you'd like, you're allowed to just look through your discard pile, okay, or your opponents. So I'm going to play this Steven. He, you've seen him earlier before, but not in the full art form. Search your deck for a supporter and a basic energy card, that, reveal okay. them and put them into your hand. Yeah. Um, so, um, here's him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Here's. So that's non-full art. This is full art. It, they do the exact same yeah. thing. Just that one's like worth more money and it's a lot cooler. rarer and cooler. So I'm, so I'm going to play this and it gets me a basic energy card, which I'm going to get that. And because I need more energy, I'm going to get another Steven. So next turn, I can play another Steven and get more energy. Cut, please, if you'd like. I will cut, yep. Yeah. And now... Um, you remember how I mentioned retreating earlier? So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to attach this energy to Mudkip, which makes it, see as the one retreat cost that I mentioned earlier? Now, I can take the energy off and put it in the discard pile so it's out of the game. And hold on. Retreat, retreat him now. He discard. So. so I'm going to put up my Mega Blastoise again. And now, now that he's active again, I can once again use, well, first of all, I'm going to play Energy Retrieval to get this bag into my hand. Put two basic energy cards from your Mr. Pile into your hand. It's an item. And then, I already attached my energy, so I can't attach another one. But, Blastoise, Mega Blastoise, has his three energy, and he's got a muscle band, so that does 140 damage. He already has 60 on him, equaling a total of 200. Look at his HP. 170, so that is the knockout on Mewtwo EX. And he's and an, EX. an EX. So, Luke Pointer draws, uh, Mr. Brown draws two cards. Price cards. And now he has no, and now he has no price cards left, so Mr. Brown wins. And Alfred loses. <laughs> so now we're, so, now we're going to pick up all this and we're going to play a, um, sped up well, game. how much time do you have left? Mm, it's good. We'll just play. So sped up. It's just gonna be a sped up game, and it's gonna be yeah. It won't be any explaining or anything unless yeah. something big happens. All right. So let's start the next start. So yep. Okay. Hello guys. We are gonna do our Pokemon game. We're not explaining at all. We're just doing a Pokemon game so you can see what it's like.
card for the double knockout. <laughs> and the game is in it. He oh, no. won. He so, won. He won. yeah, he won. Mr. Brown here won. He won. Mr. Brown here won. And, and Alfred lost. That's uh, so terrible. Okay, so, you guys, that was a pretty nice video. Um, <laughs> that's Jay Fred. Hello everybody, so I hope you really liked this video. Thank you um, for watching. Yes, thank you for watching. Um, I'd love to for you to subscribe to me and like this video. 100 likes on this video, 100 subscribers. Bam! Awesomeness. So, yeah, that was really fun and I hope you now are awesome with Pokemon for the rest of your life. And know how to play it. Yeah, best place to buy Pokemon. Super target. Yes. Go. Or online. Amazon but on Troll and Toad. Yeah. So yeah, thanks so much. Oh, oh yeah. And weaknesses. We need to tell yeah, you we're, we're, yeah, we need to tell you what weaknesses are here. So on. bottom of the card here. So this guy right here has a weakness to lightning. You see there? Just and a resist point, so the weakness to the lightning means no, that no. um he all damage done to him by lightning Pokemon are times two'd onto him. So, and he if, resistance, so if, if, a, if a lightning Pokemon does 40 damage to him, then it does 80 damage instead. And his resistance to fighting, say a fighting Pokemon does 80 damage to him, it's minus 20, it does 60 damage to so him. If, if a fighting resistance. Pokemon does yeah, yeah. 60 damage, then it'll do yeah. 40 or whatever. Exactly, as we yeah. just explained. Not 40, so, it'll do um, 30. 30. I really Sorry. Subscribe to me. Subscribe, namaste, namaste. I will see you next time. Go, Mr. Brown. Goodbye. Bye.